Welcome back to another episode of Building Success. And today I want to talk about hiring a project manager. So one of the most important things when you're a general contractor is having good project managers. And why is that? Well, the project manager is going to make your job or your project run smooth. If he knows what he's doing, he's going to give you more free time so you can handle other projects, you can handle other jobs, you can go and meet new clients, you can go and look for more work. If he doesn't know what he's doing, then you're going to have to be teaching him so you're going to be on that project and on that job site longer than if you had someone that knew what they were doing. Now, apart from that, this person needs to have a good relationship with your subcontractors. There's some guys that they don't know how to talk to other people and they come off a little bit arrogant or a little bit too demanding or a little bit disrespectful. And you don't want to have a bad relationship with your subcontractors because of a supervisor. So you need to know that this person you hire has to be a people person, okay? Doesn't mean they're going to be pleasing the subcontractor because they got to be firm when they're asking for something, but there's certain ways that you ask for things, okay? You're not going to treat people like a dog and expect them for them to give you the result just because you're paying them. You're going to ask them, hey, can you please do this? Can you please do that? Be respectful and things are going to get done because at the end of the day, you're paying for it. But just because you're paying for it doesn't mean you're going to talk to them like if they're lower than you, okay? And a lot of project managers don't understand that. I've dealt with project managers that think they're superior when they're just a project manager. And, and they've talked to me disrespectfully and, you know, we've had altercations. You don't want to have an altercation with a subcontractor because that's going to slow down your job. You're going to have to look for another subcontractor and it's just going to create a bad environment overall. So hiring the correct project manager is very important. Apart from that, this person is going to make sure that your job is running smoothly and you're meeting all the deadlines. If this person is able to get along with your subs and able to push them, hey, I need you to hurry up, I need you to do this, you know, like he's able to maintain a steady flow of work, then your project is never going to be slowed down. And that's very important, you know. The third thing that you need this guy to be a, pe a people person for is dealing with inspectors. I cannot tell you how many times having the proper project manager has helped me pass an inspection, okay? If you have a guy that's a people person and an inspector comes out to your job site to see how things are going and it could be something very minimal and they want to fail your inspection, if this guy's able to talk to him, hey, help me out, you know, and just get on the inspector's good site, there's a lot of times that these inspectors will pass your inspection. If this project manager is not a people person and he doesn't know how to talk to the inspector, you're going to fail that inspection and you might have issues in the other inspections, you know, because um, I'll give you an example. We were doing a pool inspection and we had a guy that he was a little bit rude, you know, a little rude to the inspector. The inspector sent a, a message and he said, hey, this guy you have on the job site, you have to check him. Because, you know, I don't like the way he, he, he talked to me. But not only that, next time I come to the job site, we're going by the book. Everything has to be in order. That means that inspector was obviously a little bit ticked off with the way this guy talked to him. And he just wanted to get, you know, a little bit of power um, in this situation. So you could go and fight that inspector if you wanted to. But... It's just going to make the overall situation worse when all you have to do is just, hey, I'm sorry for my guy. You know, it won't happen again. I'll be there. And then, you know, he's not going to be there. And, and we fix a situation like that, you know. Um, sometimes being nice goes a longer way than trying to fight people, you know. So that's uh, my opinion on having the proper project manager. Now, these guys are going to be a little bit expensive because they actually know what they're doing. And a project manager will probably cost you about eighty to a hundred thousand dollars a year if you want to have them on a job site, you know. So that's why you got to charge accordingly when you're doing the job. You got to put this salary into that project. 
but overall that's gonna make the project run smoothly for you for the owner for everybody involved okay even if you're the developer yourself this guy's still gonna help you run this project a lot smoother than if you were running because you have to run that yourself then you can't be worried about other projects you have to be worried on that one project so it makes a big difference sometimes those hundred thousand dollars you'll get them back in the end you know so keep that in mind and again thank you guys for tuning in if you guys have any questions please send me a message thank you for listening like and subscribe share this channel my youtube channel my podcast channel thank you guys take care have a great day